Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post a new sewing tutorial every single week to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. This week I'm showing how to make a fabric book from a pre-printed panel. I have two of these panels that a viewer sent me last year and I thought they would be fun to show you all how they work. They are so cute and they are actually really simple to make. The two panels I have are a Night Before Christmas Mary Inglebright book as well as a Patriotic Bear book which is the one that I'll be showing how to make today. The panels come with all of the page spreads already printed with the seam allowances included as well as the instructions for how to sew them together. After pre-washing the fabric, I started by cutting all of the pages apart so that they are easier to work with. The directions call for a Pellon medium weight interfacing or a flat batting. I didn't have enough of either of these in my stash, so I decided to use a fusible fleece. This is not the exact thing that it calls for, but it definitely worked and it used up a lot of bits and pieces that I had laying around. So I cut out a corresponding piece of fusible interfacing to go with each page spread of the book. The directions call for only one piece of batting or interfacing per set of pages, but I did one for each page because I wanted the book to be nice and um, plush and fluffy. I placed the fusible fleece with the textured side against the back side of the fabric, then fused it in place with the iron. I repeated it until each page was fused. Then trim all the pages right along the printed outer lines. I tried this with scissors and with a rotary cutter and the rotary cutter was definitely better. Then match up the book pages right sides together in the order specified in the directions. In this case, the cover matches page spread 10-1 and pages 9-2 matches 3-8 and so on. It doesn't really make sense until you have the actual pieces in hand. Make sure to transfer the markings from the front onto the back where the opening will be left for turning the pages right sides out. Add clips to hold each set of pages together. Sew starting at one of the markings around the other marking, leaving the space in between open. Backstitch at the beginning and ending and use a quarter inch seam allowance. Clip all the corners making sure to not cut through the stitching line. Reach in through the opening and turn each page right side out. Use a pencil or a point turner to carefully poke out the corners. Tuck in the edges of the opening and slip stitch or you can top stitch all the way around like I did. Stack all the finished pages so that they are in order for the book to read correctly. Do your best to make sure all the center lines are lined up as closely as possible. Add a few large clips, then use a needle and thread to sew some large basting stitches through all the layers. I wanted to sew with the cover facing up, so I grabbed a ruler and marked a line right down the middle of the cover to use as a guide. After sewing along the marked line, remove the basting stitches. The fabric book is now complete and here's how it turned out. It's really simple to make and something that is safe for kids of all ages to read and play with. I 
hope you enjoyed this video and saw just how easy one of these projects are to make. I'm going to have some other tutorials that I think you'll enjoy linked right over here to the side. Don't forget to click my picture right down there if you want to subscribe for new tutorials every single week. And until next time, happy sewing.